Hey guys, it's Flip. This is my Troy Bill Pony, and today I'm going to show you how to take the deck off and put it back on. Alright, so my deck needs a good cleaning, so I figured I'd go ahead and show you how to take this off. Then I'll clean it up, and then I'll show you how to put it back on. First thing I do is put a piece of cardboard down just to help slide the deck out when I'm finished. You don't have to do that. I just like to. Um, the next things are make sure your PTO is off and then go ahead and take your deck lever and drop your deck all the way down to the ground. So the next thing you're going to do is start at the front of the mower and we have to take this belt keeper off. So there's two things you need to take apart. So first of all, there's a self-tapping screw right here that we're going to use a socket to take out. And then on the other side, it just goes into this hole right here. And make sure you make note of what hole the keeper goes into. It's the second from the right hole. To take this self-tapping screw out, we're going to use an extension and a half inch socket. The bell keeper has a washer on this end, so if you look underneath, you can see that second hole has a mark from the washer. That'll help you remember which hole to put it back into. Next you're going to go to the rear left side of the mower and take out this bow tie pin that connects the deck support rod to the lift arm to the deck. Then go ahead and knock out the support rod. That'll let the deck drop to the ground. Then do the same thing to the right side. Then push out the support rod. Then what I like to do is take the support rod and actually go ahead and put it back into your lift arm like this and then take your lift lever and put it all the way up in the top notch what that's going to do is going to get all that out of your way you can see that's lifting up the support rod and the lift arm then those won't be in your way when you go to drag your deck out then go to the front of the mower and take out this bow tie pin that holds in the deck lift rod Then slide the lift rod out. Then we're going to remove the PTO cable by taking out one more pin back here. Then remove the PTO by pulling this back and up out of here. Lastly, you're going to remove this spring by just kind of lifting it up to about 45 degrees or so and then push it down and take it out. Then take that PTO and get it up out of your way. There's a twist tie here. I'm gonna go ahead and just hang it on that. That way it's not in the way and you gotta drag your deck out. As you can see, it needs a good cleaning. All right, I got the underside of this deck cleaned up now. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put it back on. First thing you want to do is hook the spring back up to the idler arm. So you want to go below the belt and hook it into this hole from the bottom. Just like that. Then you're going to put this PTO cable back in its slot. Then put the bow tie clip back into the front of the PTO. Then put your deck lift rod back into the mounting bracket. And put your clip back in. Then 
Then lower your deck lever so it lowers those hanging rods. We put that up to get them out of the way to drag the deck out. Then you want to start on either the left or the right side and attach the hanger rods here. Make sure you put this arm on the far side of that bracket. Then you're going to put your bow tie clip in. Same with the other side, attach your hanging rod, put in the clip. Then you're going to route the belt back on your pulley and put the belt keeper back on. And that's it, you're back in business. Thanks for watching.